welcome to another broadcast of Street Preacher Alive with the International Street Preacher, Dwayne H. Lyon. To all my friends, family, and supporters, I want to let you know we are sheltered in place and we are safe in our underground bunker slash studio Security outside the door, top side. Everything is good. We're hearing a lot about the coronavirus. COVID-19 has changed the world. Has 9-11 changed America. And it's changed our lexicon, our way of living. But I want to bring a little clarity, a little levity to this subject. Let me get drinking this filtered water. I mean, we, this, oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Now, we're all, we got everything here. Look. I can shave in the bunker. Got my razor. Got my toothbrush. Now, you know, like all bunkers, it gets a little musky here. We got our Febreze. Keeps it fresh. So everything's great. We're happy. <clears throat> but I'm going to say something. <clears throat> Jesus Christ is not on a respirator. Jesus Christ is not in ICU. He's sitting on a golden throne, not in a wheelchair. Everything's going to be all right. Now, is there reasons to be concerned? Yes, there is. But take a look at the good news in the Holy Bible. Everything you see was prophesied. Perilous times, dangerous times shall come. Jesus told us, I'm going to tell you all these things so when they happen, you won't be caught off guard. But yet people are out here running to and fro, hoarding toilet paper. And we've got our share of paper here, but we've got some food too. But some faith. Listen, I would rather perish in faith than to live in fear. I've got some friends that got a potato farm in a group of five and they're trying to stay alive. Jesus said, go. This is a time to charge. The church said, well, we're not going to meet. Okay, let's go out to the street. Let's go tell people that it's coming. Let's tell them the end of Corona-19. Jesus Christ is more powerful than COVID-19. He's more powerful than cancer. He's more powerful than tuberculosis. And Jesus is more powerful than leprosy. He didn't turn to the disciples at the prayer line and said, fit me up with some rubber gloves. He didn't say, where's my mask? He didn't say, check my fever. The prostitute wet his feet with her tears. He wasn't afraid. He said what he did, we can do it more if we have the faith. Now I'm going to bring this clarity that let's get some balance here, church. We're leading gang members, meth addicts to Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, there's a reason to fear. This ain't forever. This too shall pass. But it's heaven or it's hell. And they both start with H-E. And neither one of them ever end. Heaven is real. God is real. Jesus is real. He's coming back. And I love him and I love you. He said you must be born again. You don't have to live in fear. And people are attacking the churches that decide to meet or go out. That's what they do. Attack. And what we do is charge. We're not cutting that. We're giving away food. We're giving away Bibles. We're helping other ministries. And we're going to continue to volunteer. We may sandbag. We may give away food and water like we did at Katrina. Disaster relief as we've done in Haiti. I'm going to preach the same message to my last day on earth. Somebody told me one time, Dwayne, I went off, I got my degree in sociology and psychology, and you still just a 
street preacher? You're not a prophet? You're not a pastor? You're not an apostle? Well, I said, I've been to school, to God's school, and I got a BA and a DDOHG. I've been born again, and I got a double dose of the Holy Ghost. And to COVID-19 and to all God's enemies of Satan, bring it on! Somebody told me, when the devil going to be knocking on your door, come on in. I got something for you. It ain't about me. It ain't about us. It's about him and them. And our love for him will never Our love for God will never overextend or reach than our love for them. He set it up. If we don't love them, our words to Him, it, it just don't work. Reality check time. Charge, church. Lastly, God really loves you. Me too. I'm going to have one more drink of this filtered water. I can smell those ramen noodles boiling. Sometimes I'll use absurdity to expose absurdity. Think about it, friend. See our next broadcast. God bless you.